Your paper should be on fold. And the width will be your hip circumference divided by 4 plus how much ease you'd like yours to have. Mine was 11 inches plus 4 inches, making it 15. And the length was 44 inches. The next thing will be to mark the neckline. I will start by making the shoulder slope. So that was 4 inches and I'll go all the way down to mark 1 inch. And I'll connect it from the 4 inch mark all the way up. For the neck depth, I used 1.5 inches. So I'm just going to connect it with a slight curl. The next step was the armhole. I made mine 11 inches. My armhole is 8.5 but I added extra 2.5 inches for ease. And right at the bottom I marked 1.5 inches right there and then I'll connect it all the way up to the armhole. And that's basically all. I'm going to cut this out. So here is what it looks like. I'm going to use this to cut out the other piece. We need two pieces. And for the front piece, I'm going to slash the front parts. I'll show you how that would work. And I'm going to measure the armhole just to know how much to cut out for the sleeves. So right now I'm cutting out this on the fabric. So this is the second piece. So one of them would be slashed in front, which would be the front piece. The next step will be to cut out the sleeves. I need two rectangles for the sleeves. The width of the sleeves will be based on the armhole plus half an inch. Mine was 11 inches and I added half an inch. So I need two rectangles for the sleeves. And the length will be whatever you want yours to be. The next step will be to cut out the pockets. So I'm going to use two rectangles again to cut out the pockets. I'm just going to adjust the edges just like I'm doing. And then I'll slash that in half. The length will be based on how deep you want yours to be, right? And those are the pockets. So this is the back of the coat. The next thing will be to bring in the front piece. Remember we slashed it in half. So right sides facing, I'm just going to pin them together to the back piece. Just like I'm going to show you. The next thing will be to go run a straight stitch on both sides. And I'm also going to pin the neckline. Once I'm done, I'm just going to connect it with a straight line. So this is what it looks like. Both sides have been sewed together and the shoulder also have been sewed together. The next thing would be to add the sleeves. Remember we cut out two rectangles for the sleeves. So I decided to make the cuff smaller by taking out about three inches from the cuff. So I marked three inches and I'm just going to slant my way all the way up. I'll repeat the same process for the other sleeve.
Once this is done, I'm going to run a straight stitch all the way down and I'll repeat the same process for the other sleeve. So here is what it looks like. So I had to turn the sleeves to the right sides. The next thing will be to turn the coat inside out, wrong sides facing out. And I'm going to insert the sleeve, right sides facing, just like I'm doing. I'll pin these together and I'll repeat the same process for the other sleeve. So here is what it looks like. I'll run a straight stitch all the way around and I'll repeat the same thing for the other sleeve. So this is what they look like. The next step will be to add the pockets. So I'm going to finish the edges of the pockets with a bias tape. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I will turn it to the wrong side and I'll pin the bias tape all the way around just like I'm doing. So I'll sew all the way around just like that and I'll show you what it looks like. I have one done already so here is what it's going to look like. So the next step will be to fold the bias tape just like that. And I'll pin this all the way around. So the next step will be to fix the pockets. So I'll measure from the shoulder all the way to wherever I want mine to be. Mine was 22 inches. So I pinned that down all the way around. And I repeated the same process for the other sleeve. I'll hold both pockets down with a straight stitch. Here is what it looks like. So I also finished the edges of all sides of the coat, both the sides and the lower part, as well as the sleeves. The next step was the neckline which I wasn't too sure whether to finish up with a bias tape or a collar. So I skipped that part and I went to the snaps. I added about 9 snaps from top to the bottom part of this coat and I hand sewed the snaps to the coat and that should basically be all about this tutorial I'm so sorry I couldn't film the color I thought I was filming but it turns out I wasn't so thank you so much for watching bye